Hi, my name is Guillermo Sanchez, um, and I'm the coordinator of the project Lima. That is a European project that was uh, founded by the seventh uh, framework. Um, this project is about uh, photovoltaics, and um, I'm going to explain a little bit uh, why this project is uh, important, and what was the goal of this project, and uh, what we achieved within this project and also why i think uh, this project was uh, one of the successful uh, stories under the seventh uh, framework um to talk about this uh, l let me first introduce you uh what is a, a, a module a, a photovoltaic module that is uh, uh something like uh, it is behind me um, as you can see there is a lot of uh, individual cells uh, that is composed of the, this uh, module. This module uh, traps the, the light from the sun and convert it, converts it uh, to electricity. Um, here, uh, you can see this, this is one of the uh, state-of-the-art cells uh, that are within uh, those type of modules. Uh, this is a commercial cell um, that has an efficiency out of about 18.7% uh, uh, at the moment. Uh, you can see several features here. Uh, if you look at the back side of, the, of this cell, uh, here you have, uh, it, it is like a complete mirror because it is completely covered by aluminum. And you, you also have uh, three stripes uh, that uh, gets uh, a different color and it, it gets used uh, to to solder the, the bus bars. Uh, as also, you can see that in, in the front side, uh, you also have three uh, bus bars and, and also have uh, smaller lines that are also uh, metal lines that are produced in, uh, out of uh, uh, silver. In comparing, uh, comparison with this cell, um, we fabricate a, a, a little bit different cells. Here is an example of one of the cells that was produced under the project Lima. Um, this is the front side. Uh, the first difference that you can see is you know, on the front side that you have uh, no metal lines at all, which with, uh, with, uh, means uh, that the, uh, the light gets, gets no shadow at all. Uh, all the contacts have been produced on the back side. Well, this is an experimental cell, uh, which means that uh, we, we are producing several cells, not only one cell, but there are several cells uh, within uh, one single wafer. The, the implication of this is that we can make a lot of experiments in, in one single cell, which is very convenient for, for the, to get uh, faster uh, results uh, within our project. Another advantage of, uh, of, of this type of cells, uh, that is, uh, that are particular, particularly well suited uh, to do experiments uh, like it is in the case of uh, Lima project. Within Lima project uh, we wanted to incorporate some of the most advanced uh, nanophotonic phenomena that we have at the lab level. In particular we try to implement uh, two types of, um, two, 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 two type of phenomena. Uh, one is the, the use of uh, silicon nanoparticles. Silico, silicon nanoparticles are very well suited uh, to, to gather uh, the light. Um, in particular, you can tailor those uh, tiny uh, nanoparticles to absorb uh, the ultraviolet light. And what we did in, within this project is we deposit uh, such type of layer on, on the front surface and um, we uh, manage to absorb the ultraviolet part of the light within that uh, thin layer and then re-emit at the uh, infrared part of the spectrum. Uh, this cell is uh, much more efficient uh, when we're talking about uh, the infrared part of the light than comparing to where, where we when we are talking about the uh, ultraviolet. So, um, with this layer, we 
passivate this layer, which is very, very important. We, we passivate the surface of the cell, uh, at, but at the same time, we gather <coughs> part of the ultraviolet uh, light of the, of the sun and then convert it to the infrared and, and radiate it uh, to the cell. So it gets converted to the electricity. At the same time, on the back side of, of the cell, uh, where we did, uh, we take advantage of the property of the uh, silver of getting uh, self-aggregated. Um, with that technique, we were able to create tiny uh, nanoparticles on the back side of, of the cell. Uh, those tiny nanoparticles uh, behaves like a, an almost uh, an, an enhanced uh, mirror for the red and the infrared part of the spectrum. So when the light reaches the backside of the cell, then it gets uh, back uh, scattered. And um, also the light on the infrared part travels more along this edge. So the light uh, gets uh, better absorbed on the, on the cell. With those two effects together, uh, we achieve the goal of the project. The goal of the project was to achieve a 10% enhance of the efficiency of the original cell. This, uh, this cell, at the, at the beginning uh, of the project, at the first year of the project, uh, the back contact cell, that is a unique, uh, a, a novel uh, design and a, and a novel development specifically for this project, Lima, <coughs> Uh, on this uh, first year of the project, uh, we, we achieve 18% uh, uh, efficiency. And at the end of the project, with uh, those two phenomena uh, incorporated to the cell, we achieve 19.7%. Uh, um, so if you compare with the standard cell, the standard cell efficiency is 18.7%. Uh, uh, which is uh, very good news. Um, but it's also very good news because uh, we pay a lot of attention that all the processes uh, that we've developed within this project uh, were uh, thought that it could be retrofitable in, into a factory. So it could be uh, the fabrication of these type of cells could be uh, efficient also in terms of cost, not only in terms of uh, electrical efficiency. Um, well, in fact, the, the good news is uh, that after the development of this uh, backside uh, cell, um, we continue uh, developing the, this, uh, this cell. And, and in particular, one of the partners, IEC Costans, uh, joined together with a company to develop uh, uh, an industrial scale back contact cell that hopefully will be in the market pretty soon. So this is uh, one of the advantages of, of, of getting one of those projects uh, funded, that, that you really um, get uh, new develop developments and new uh, findings that could be really retrofitted into, into products uh, and, and, uh, and to, to produce, in this case, uh, electricity at a better price and uh, with, with no contamination. Um, I, I, I would like to stress uh, in, in this particular project, I think that the, uh, the successful uh, achievement of the goals, um, I, I believe it is because at the beginning, uh, all the partners uh, were uh, very, uh, very well as uh, ex experienced on the, on the topics, uh, each one on, on its topics. So, so it's uh, very talented people, uh, very experienced people, and, um, and also, I think that the, uh, when we set up the goals uh, for this project, I think it was a kind of challenging, uh, challenging goal. Um, but it, we realized that it was also re relevant, uh, a relevant goal, uh, not only for the uh, scientific community, but also um, for, for all, all the society. Um, so it was challenging. But at the same time, it was achievable. Um, somehow we, we thought we were under the impression that if we, if we pay enough uh, attention and uh, we focus enough and uh, we uh, dedicate enough efforts, um, we, we could achieve uh, the goal at the end of the project. So I think 
somehow this uh, motivated us to to pursue the the, the goals all together. Um, well, and the, and 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 I think the, that um, it is it is very um, um, very uh, well uh, achieved uh, the goal, uh, the final goal. Um, so we want to really uh, thank the um, uh, European Commission to to give us uh, the opportunity of um, of get the science going forward. Uh, to the industry in this case uh, as, as in this project. So thank you very much and have a good day.